in my lab, it gets really cold. It's a sh uh, uh, plywood shed with no insulation. So in the winter, uh, all the heat just leaves. There's some places I can see straight out of it. And uh, no, no bueno. Space heaters won't cut it. Um, so I built a propane furnace some years ago, I think a year or two ago, to uh, heat the space up. And it actually worked really well. It works so well, in fact, it can heat the place up to like 70 degrees when it's like 10 hours in Fahrenheit. So it's a really, it's a, you know, a beefcake heater, you might say. But it's not the first try. I forgot that I tried to make a few propane heaters. I think that's Mark III is the one I have now. But Mark I um, was a, was a, I was going to try to make an infrared propane jet heater where the fire was burned inside the pipe and the exhaust was carried out the end. But the heat was left behind in the pipe and radiated out via infrared radiation. Wow, I'm warm. It's a nice day out. This is a, just a video of uh, basically my process of making that. I have no idea why I never installed it. I think I couldn't duct the heat out properly or there was some other problem. I can't remember. But I ended up making it and putting it in the, in the frame I built for it and then I left it behind my shed for a year or two. Although the core, the burner in that, would later go on to become the base of the Mark II propane burner, which was the death trap that just vented all the CO2 into the same room I was in and got you really high. So I didn't like that one. I just watched a video of it that I put up on YouTube back when I put it up. I'm pretty sure I was like totally tripping out on CO2 poisoning. Uh, yeah, enjoy. So today I'm going to be trying to build on the point um, space heater, a heater for a workshop or an area. I'm making an infrared heater with a propane infrared heater that vents outside but should get the space very high for less than a hundred dollars because all the good ones seem to cost a hundred dollars. Let's get to it. So this is my idea right here. <clears throat> so I'm going to use this pipe inside another pipe and there's going to be holes drilled in the end there and the propane should come out and combust inside the bigger pipe and then all those and it should heat that pipe up causing a lot of infrared radiation and I should be able to reflect that back in the space and then let that whole system vent out the wall 5 psi regulator this is the last thing I made with some propane Actually, kind of surprised that worked that was off a one pound cylinder but this is what I've been working on so far so here we have a adaption for a one pound cylinder of propane and this copper pipe runs the length of this larger black pipe all the way down to here and this would be angled up at a slight angle so all the exhaust fumes inside the cylinder would get carried up and out the end which would be outside and hopefully heat up the metal pipe really hot and radiate heat but this was the prototype so this is just a proof of concept if it works we go bigger and then I built a choke to slide over here for the oxygen control but this whole system wouldn't work because the uh, pressure was too high in here so it blew out all the combustion right away and there was never any combustion inside here hopefully with this nice where is it this is this 30 psi regulator too much where'd I, where'd I put it where'd I put it ah five there's a five psi regulator you pick this off and it will work much better alright so I've hooked this up to the the gas line back here so now Let's turn it on. Now. So now we put this whole thing inside that pipe. And hopefully, these flames should heat it very well. So this was the old flame tube. All right, so I installed the pipe, and you can see in there, there's fire. What's happening is it's heating up the, all the air, and the air's getting sucked in the bottom here, burning, combusting in here, 
and the fumes are coming out the top. If you look in there, I'll see it. So that's gonna get mad hot soon. But you can see if I tip it too far back. Oh, is it still working? If I go like the other direction. Whoa. Yeah, let's go back like that. See some smoke. Let's see how hot this thing is. Holy smokes. So you can see it's about 300, 350 degrees right past the burn point. It's probably burning my gloves now. All right, I'm gonna make this better. All right, so I've left it on for about 20 minutes, so it should be running at temp. So you can see it's about 28 degrees out. A little below freezing. Smells like it's working. God, now you get why I don't use this camera. <laughs> right. So here it is. Let's see what we're doing here. Wow! Temperature drops pretty fast. How's the tent back here? That's not bad at all. So yeah, this was the combustion line, I guess. That works really well, actually. It's a little cold. Yeah, but if we use a 20 pound propane cylinder, that the cooling problem won't happen. Awesome. I'm gonna ramp this up a little. Alright. Let's see how this bed bow works. Very nice. So we'll put each one of these inside a metal cylinder. The exhaust soon should get carried out. So uh, I cut these pipes four feet eight inches. So now I'm going to install the heating element inside. Should totally work on my stand. And after this, I have no more footage or recordings of the Mark I propane burner. No idea. I looked and looked. I have a few of the Mark II and a few of Mark III, which I use now. Here's one of the Mark II, slowly killing us. So that was a video of the Mark II burner, which was just a pipe with fire at the bottom that dumped into the adjacent uh, shed space. I didn't like that. So I got rid of that and I built this. So it's a little messy, but this is an air dryer and a propane like jet. So it kind of forces air, mixes with the propane and combusts inside this outer cylinder. This is the outer air jacket. And there's a pan back here, which pushes air in the back. And then it combusts here, and there's the middle pipe, and this is the outer pipe. And it goes all the way up here. And in the outer pipe, see there's this air jacket. Out puts the hot air, and the inner exhaust pipe deflects and goes outside. And it gets the space very warm. So yeah, I was in town, so I could stop by and get photos of this thing. The place is in shambles. I haven't been able to clean it since I've moved, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty warm in here. Check out how cold it is out here. Woohoo! 
but it's snowing. If you made it to the end, you are an absolute legend. Thanks for watching. Carry on. Might I sing a malady? A little wood, Memorial huh? of memory to remember that first propane burn that we never made. Oh, little propane. Little propane burner. Whatever happened to you, I do not know. I do not know.